Hamilton County may move 1,200 workers out of downtown Cincinnati and into new leased office space some seven miles away. And that's worrying some downtown business owners. Investigative reporter Paula Christian explains why the move could be good for county taxpayers, but bad for downtown businesses. Hundreds of government workers are based in downtown Cincinnati in very old buildings like this one, the Alms and Depke building, which houses job and family services. Now the county has to make hard decisions about its real estate, what to sell, how to consolidate workers, and where, potentially out of downtown. Hamilton County is looking for new Class A office space to start leasing on January 1st. 350 to 400,000 square feet, enough to accommodate 1,200 workers with 1,500 parking spaces within seven miles of downtown and on a public bus line. The front runner is widely rumored to be the Mercy Health Building in Bond Hill. That worries some downtown business owners. Pulling 1,200 employees out of the downtown area would be devastating to many businesses. Tom Sparling is general manager at the Holy Grail at the banks. Follow me. He says restaurants here are still struggling with smaller crowds because so many workers never came back to the office after the pandemic. Losing 1,200 county workers would be another big blow, says Tony Cafeo, <laughs> owner of Jefferson Social at the banks. I don't think they're considering what's best for Hamilton County. A spokesperson says the county is not looking to wholly move out of downtown and no decision has been made. Other potential office sites would keep county workers downtown, such as Atrium 1 and 2 office buildings in the Central Business District and the Baldwin Building near Eden Park. But experts say very few sites in downtown have the room or the parking spaces the county is asking for. This is clearly an attempt to uh, consolidate uh, the multiple office buildings that the county got, operates in currently downtown. Carl Gertemoller says the county is trying to do what many private companies are also doing right now, rationalize their real estate. He is executive director of the Real Estate Center at the University of Cincinnati. He thinks consolidating several county buildings and potentially selling them could be good for taxpayers. If they're paying for square footage in any of those buildings that they're not utilizing, that can be repurposed for another use and can put some money in the county's pocket on top of it. But he admits there is also a big downside. He says downtown businesses wouldn't just lose county workers, they'd also lose the customers who come to do business, like pay a county tax bill and then stay for lunch afterwards. That's something Cincinnati Mayor Aftab Purival also worries about. Obviously that would be concerning because we're, uh, we're really trying to make sure our downtown is thriving and moving employees outside of the downtown would be uh, would be challenging, particularly for our uh, local businesses. Pureval also worries about the potential loss of earnings tax revenue if the county moved its workers outside of the city. The Mercy Health site is still within city limits, but miles away from downtown. If the traffic's not down here, people aren't going to open up businesses, right? Paula Christian, WCPO 9, I team. Now, there's no word yet on when the county will vote on the contract, but it is accepting bids right now for the new leasing space until June 21st.